In this video, I'm going to be giving you my thoughts and experience with 23andMe, a company that you can use to find out all about your ancestry by giving them a DNA sample for them to analyze your genetic heritage. With the sample, they'll be able to shed light on your family history and Oftentimes, they can also give you information on your family's health issues as well. But of course, 23andMe is not a diagnostic tool. And just because you have a risk of developing a certain disease doesn't mean that you will. Now, personally, I'm fascinated with history and finding out more about my and my family's roots and using DNA to dig into it was a really positive experience that yielded some fascinating information. So I'll share with you guys my experience using 23andMe and all the pros and cons that came with it. I'll talk about how it works, how long it takes, what kind of information you can expect to get back, and how much it costs so that you can decide if it's going to work for you or not. And if you find this review interesting or helpful, you can show your appreciation by liking this video or subscribing if you haven't already to see more of my reviews. And just to be upfront, I'm an affiliate of pretty much all the companies that I talk about, including 23andMe, but my recommendations would not mean anything if I didn't give you my honest opinion as always. But if at any point you decide to use 23andMe, check out the affiliate link in the description down below. It does not cost you anything and you might even get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't get if you went right to their website. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so in case you haven't heard of 23andMe, they offer a personal DNA analysis service that gives you insight into your ancestry and physical traits like lactose intolerance or even sometimes athletic ability. Plus, you get details like the possible risk of health conditions, and you can also sometimes get information about other people who share the same DNA and might be related to you. In other words, you might be able to meet new family members. Now, 23andMe was launched back in 2006, which means that they've been around for a while. And since they've started, they've sold over 12 million direct-to-consumer DNA kits. And although they use genotyping, which only looks at interesting bits of your DNA instead of your whole genome sequencing, which would look at your entire DNA code, and is much more thorough, their results are still relatively comprehensive and can reveal really, really interesting things. On top of that, 23andMe is certified by the FDA to test for 10 conditions like Parkinson's disease, late onset Alzheimer's disease, and celiac disease. And in some cases, it can even help prospective parents discover if they carry any genetic variants linked to some very serious conditions that they could potentially, God forbid, pass down to a child. That being said, let's talk about how 23andMe actually works and what you need to do to get your DNA tested with them. So when you sign up, they send you a kit that you use to collect a saliva sample. Then you download the 23andMe app, register the test kit and sign a bunch of waivers and informed consent documents before sending the saliva sample and a prepaid package to the 23andMe lab for analysis. Based on your genetic profile, they give you reports that you can access from the app or right on their website. Now, this process starting from when you mail your sample to when you receive the actual report takes some time. They say anywhere between four and 10 weeks, but the app gives you constant updates on the status of your sample until they get processed and after as your reports start to appear. Now, in your report, you get information on three main aspects of what your DNA reveals. The first section called Ancestry will break down your heritage percentage based on regions of the world. The next section deals with potential health risks going into your specific markers for diseases and conditions that you might, with an emphasis on might, be susceptible to. But remember, this is not a diagnosis. It's just a good way to know what things you might want to start looking out for. And finally, they look into your physical traits, providing interesting information on stuff like how your ears are shaped, whether you sweat a lot or other really cool things that you might have not ever thought about before. And again, I just want to say if you decide that you want to try out 23andMe, check out the affiliate link that I left down in the description below. If you use it, you might get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't find if you went directly to their website. Okay, so how much does 23andMe actually cost? Well, it's going to depend on what kind of report and service you choose. And 23andMe has a discount on all the reports, so it's probably less than you think. The most affordable option is their ancestry service, which will just tell you which population groups show up in your DNA and what your DNA reveals about your physical traits. It costs just under 120 bucks as a one-time fee and gives you more than 80 genotyping reports along with your ancestry report and automatic family tree builder. You have the option to opt into their DNA relative finder service if you want, but that's going to mean that you will open yourself up 
to other relatives finding you as well. And if you want to step it up for around $230, you can combine the health and ancestry reports with over 150 genotyping reports. Besides all the things you get with the ancestry service, you'd also get 10 or more health predisposition reports, carrier status reports so you can find out if you could potentially pass on the genetic conditions to your kids, family tree health history, and five plus wellness reports that you can use to help you avoid any potential health issues down the line. This is the service I went for, and it really is extremely comprehensive. And even though it didn't reveal anything shocking, it made me see my health in a whole new light and more about that later on. And if you want to know even more, you can opt for their premium service, which gives you 190 genotyping reports. In other words, it goes really, really, really into depth on your DNA and costs 230 bucks. And if you renew your membership, it gets down to 69 bucks a year. And the service gives you a ton of information, including really advanced and thorough ancestry reports, as well as any historical matchups that they can find for you. You get 40 plus health predisposition reports and 10 plus wellness reports. So it's a lot, lot more comprehensive. On top of that, you also get pharmacogenetics reports that can shed some insights onto how you might respond to medication like antibiotics. Plus you get health tracking and the health action plan. And you can even add blood testing as an optional extra to get even more accurate and thorough results. And if you have any health concerns or your reports point to the potential to develop genetic conditions, 23andMe has a total health subscription service that costs around a thousand bucks for the first year and then renews for just under 500 bucks for the following year. Now with the service, you also get something called an exome sequencing test that helps you understand what may be causing the symptoms or any diseases that you might have. And with their subscription, you can get this sequencing test done up to two times a year. But a warning for this test, you have to have your blood tested. But you do get the benefit of genetics-based clinical care. It's a really useful subscription for anyone who has or is worried about genetic health issues. Okay, so when it comes to my experience with them, I found 23andMe really easy to use. Once I'd signed up and picked my plan, I downloaded the app and I could use it to manage my membership, track my sample, and even learn more about about how they were extracting and getting information from my DNA. And when they finished the testing process and completed their reports, I logged in and saw all of my information and I was also able to search for relatives using the relative finder feature as well. So I had 150 health reports that told me how my DNA affected my risk of developing conditions like type two diabetes, celiac disease, depression, coronary artery disease, high cholesterol, psoriasis, Hashimoto's disease, and Alzheimer's. And I also got insights into lifestyle factors like being a really deep sleeper, having pet allergies, or my genetic potential for being overweight. And while these reports were detailed, they were broken down in a way that was really easy to understand and I didn't feel was really overwhelming. I found the information to be accessible and for what I paid for, I really felt like I got a lot of good and useful and interesting information. So the bottom line is, do I recommend 23andMe? I think that at the end of the day, it comes down to personal preference, but for me, it was a great service that was easy to use and gave me a lot of valuable information for what I thought was a very reasonable price. And my advice to you guys is to treat it as an adventure in personal discovery and maybe consult your doctor before or after getting your health reports, especially before you draw any conclusions from them but it really was an eye-opening experience that gave me a lot to think about. And so if you're curious about where you come from and what makes you tick, then you should definitely get one for yourself. Okay, so that's it for this review. If you found this video helpful or interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this. And as I mentioned earlier, if you do decide that you wanna try 23andMe, check out the link that's down in the description. It does not cost you anything and you get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't find by going directly to their website. And as always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts and I'll try to get back to the questions or comments you leave down below as fast as I can. And finally, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.